the gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? This is Amy from alchemillahospital.net, and this is going to be a playthrough of the PT sort of remake called Corridors by Smoggy Chips. Now, I'm sure everybody's read the articles on there was a guy named Quimsar and his fan game, which was, you know, a, a remake, a faithful remake, that is, of PT, was shut down by Konami. But this came out first, and, um,. Since he does thank him, I think. Also, that that rain is nice. But um, since Quimsar does thank Smoggy Chips in some of these articles, um, it's possible they were. These were sort of related, the two games. I don't know. In any case, it's clear there's things that were ripped from PT to make this one. And since the other one isn't online, and I did not download it, uh, this is one I have, and it's still up. For download, if you search for uh, corridors, PT, smoggy chips, or whatever, and you can see a lot of things are different. I have some small inset videos here of the original game uh, from my playthrough on PS4, which I still haven't uploaded in its entirety, and then that's some Unity remake I downloaded. I'm not sure where that came from. On the right there. But then uh, the main large image here is corridors. And you can see some of these areas in the beginning, they're, you know, lacking a lot of the details. And I kept trying to get into the bathroom, but you can't. And see, this is missing some of the stuff right there. I mean, there's that picture that you put together from the pieces there, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff missing from the table, like the phone, and then there's junk supposed to be on the floor. But it's good as far as, you know, just sort of a proof of concept and showing what could be done, you know, remaking something like this. Here's Lisa just spazzing out in this Unity thing, it just, she just sort of stands there in the hall and spazzes out. And on the right, that's just a clip of her closing the door in the PS4 version. Which doesn't really happen here, you don't see her. And I kept trying to get in there and you, I don't think it's even... I don't think there even is a bathroom beyond the door there. But in any case, um... Yeah, this Quimsar guy, which is, he was is or was 17 years old at the time he was doing something that you know apparently looked a lot like this but more detailed and he got shut down with a you know, cease and desist or whatever from Konami and a lot of people have freaked out about that but I think there's also the fact that people don't know a whole lot about you know copyright laws and so on so they think you can just th that it's legal to make fan games and it's really not Especially when you're ripping all their content and, you know. Like, if you draw a picture of Mickey Mouse and put it up on a website, Disney can shut you down, even if you're not selling it. Because it's their intellectual property. So, Konami is well within their rights to do this, and I was, you know, surprised they didn't do it with all of them, like this one. You know, since they were, since they started this. And I mean, it sucks, but, um, you know, a lot, a lot of companies would do that. And it's not surprising in any way. And if you look at uh, his replies on some of the sites that talk about uh, his, uh, what was it called, just PC for PC, that thing being shut down, he talks about, you know, they were pretty cool with it about him and offered him an internship and... He seems to suggest they, um, oh, there's Lisa. They might be m more interested now in actually making games, but of course I, I don't know what's actually going on. 
but he seemed to be, you know, pretty positive about that when it came to, you know, uh, being offered an opportunity with them. And said it, you know, it may have changed his life for the better, even, you know, giving him a direction to go. But, of course, he was still um, disappointed that it was shut down, and so were a lot of other people, especially people who never played it on PS4. So, you know, that sucks, but there's a lot of legal issues, apparently, surrounding PT, especially with uh, Kojima leaving, and see, there's the bloody fridge in the original, but then this has some bodies that are hanging from the ceiling. But, yeah, after Kojima left and all that, you know, um, just a huge clusterfuck, after all that happened, you know, I was really surprised that more weren't shut down. Because people have been working on these for years now. So, of course, Konami would be aware of things. And despite the, the fact that, you know, things are missing out of this one, and we have these bodies instead of the bloody fridge, it's still still pretty faithful and you know the feel and you know, the overall gameplay is still pretty good of course this is missing the um, the puzzle aspects and I imagine Quimsar put all those into his but I haven't watched any of the walkthroughs yet I know I read his to-do lists and things on Google Docs or somewhere and he was talking about, you know, getting all the animations and adding all the gameplay aspects that were missing, you know, that time. So I can only imagine that he was going to make it very, very faithful and to the point of being exact. So that's likely why Konami went after him and not anyone else. But in any case, this is still nice that you can walk around in it and, you know, it gives an idea of the feel of it if you haven't played it, I suppose, so it's worthwhile in that respect.